Gender-based violence has for long been a crime against humanity. It affects every member of the society. It has no boundary, a serious threat to national security and a key contributor to the hindrance of development in all sectors. People from all walks of life, nations have stood together looking for ways to eradicate this vice and call it history in generations to come. To this hand, Rwanda has always remained steadily implementing policies, laws that help to address the issues of gender-based violence. Under the guidance of His Excellency the President of the Republic of Rwanda, Paul Kagame, who is among the 10 head of states championing the He for She campaign. There must be determination to act decisively without fear or fear. Security agencies have the necessary tools, legal or otherwise, at their disposal and should not hesitate to use them. Let me take this opportunity to commend the work of the Issa and One Stop Center, which supports victims and their families. Together with others, I'm uh, a very proud champion of uh, the campaign involving he for she. July 2009 marked the inauguration of Isangwan Stop Center by the First Lady of Rwanda, Madame Jeanette Kagame. Being the first of its kind in Rwanda, it managed to fill the gap in responding to and prevent GBV. This complements the national effort in ending the vice. Because of this um, uh, good policies in place, uh, now we are seeing a you know, a change of the attitudes within the community. This holistic concept of prevention and response has had a greater effect, not only to the individual victims, but also to the entire one and society. It's an ongoing solution that brings the care where the people live and the care the people need. It's a one-stop center for us, was the first a recognition by the country that Gender-based violence is not only a gender crime, but is a security issue. It is setting really the stage to make sure that this is about the security of the citizen. This is the security of the children. This is the security of men and, and women, boys and girls. This victim-centered approach not only allows for victim empowerment, but journeys the victim through the criminal justice system. So transforming him or her from victim survivor, or ultimately a more empowered witness in the criminal process. Easing One Stop Center is a provision of the required services in the same location that makes a one-stop center. The services offered here are no monetary cost. Services are offered on a 24-7 basis and at a cost free. They're offered under one roof to reduce the distance, avoid the risk of tainted evidence, ensure safety and security of the victims. Services offered include psychosocial services, medical legal services, judicial services, safe room services, toll free or helpline, follow up of the victims to their communities for social reintegration. At the reception, the survivor meets well-trained social workers who give adequate information to allow the survivor make an informed choice. The center is also open 24-7 to avoid loss of evidence and survivors changing their mind about receiving care and treatment. The success of this one stop center remains extremely visible all around. And in recognition of the success, the center was awarded with the United Nations Public Service Award for promoting gender-responsive delivery. According to the roadmap that we have, uh, by 2017, all public hospitals will be accommodating Isangi One Stop Center. Isangi One Stop Center has set a tremendous example in the country, in the region, the entire continent of Africa, and far beyond.